Christmas is a magical time where wishes whispered to the stars might just come true. The city of London, wrapped in the warmth of holiday spirit, held its breath awaiting something extraordinary. Hello, my name's Morgan Freeman. And this is a tale of a lonesome alien. As he embarks on a journey for connection, a question echoes in the wind. Will this planet, teeming with eight billion souls, be his sanctuary? Brace yourself for the saga of Moleface. Welcome to London. A blend of excitement, mystery, and confusion envelops the alien as he wanders the city. Despite countless encounters, the remedy for loneliness remains elusive. Until, in a cosmic twist, his eyes catch a glimpse of a magazine featuring the enigmatic rock star, Matt Healy. Love at first sight. Leafing through the pages, he stumbles upon starter and fame. Utterly captivated. this be the antidote to his solitude? I've been trying to find a home, nowhere to lie. 
My name is Freddie Perfect, and I want to become the bowling champion of the world. In a different corner of London, a dedicated bowling enthusiast on a 15-year quest to outplay his friend Oliver, returns to his local bowling alley. You know, rocks, I used to line them up and knock them over with, with fistfuls of pebbles. I'm, I'm pretty fucking good. Unbeknownst to him, this friendly face-off might carry more weight than he realizes. It was the wrong ball. I always find it with the, in this place. They got they got shit balls. A lot of people often say to me, Oliver, why do you keep trying to uh, have bowling games with Fred? Uh, it gets strangely competitive. So you guys doing over here? Yeah. And I don't mean to brag or anything, but he hasn't beaten me once. Not once. Not once. This one's for the doctors and nurses out there. Doctor! And so the matchup begins. Is there any tension between us? Um, not too much, but admittedly, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'm perfectly not feeling any tension. Great thing about me and Oliver is we always keep our uh, feet out of the ring, out of the bowling alley. His suit, his words will turn to ashes in his mouth. He's like, fuck off for two seconds. Fuck off. Yes, in the lead! Tensions escalate as Freddy Perfect finds himself on the familiar path to defeat once more. In this pivotal moment, Oliver reveals this showdown will be their very last. He will be moving to America. This would be Freddy's final opportunity for victory. As if stirred by the enchantment of the Christmas spirit, that night unfolded precedent of magic. Freddy Perfect, caught in the whims of fate, found himself on an extraordinary winning streak. He had done it. After 15 years of weekly encounters, he'd finally won his first bowling match. 15 years! Woo! 15 years. I've been trying to beat him. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, I just can't explain it. I can't explain the buzz I feel right now. What, 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 after this? In the dance of life, quests may find their conclusion. Yet the melody continues. And so Freddy Perfect steps into the next verse of his journey, a harmonious continuation of the song that plays through the tapestry of London Core.
Anything profound to say? I'm all about living in the moment, and this right here is gonna be the moment. Follow me. In the labyrinthian depths of London, Moleface's journey persists. Amidst the shadows, a familiar image appears, the most wondrous artifact 
he's ever seen. Yet, as he cradles the soft rose petals, they vanish mysteriously out of his hands. Almost like a Christmas miracle, there she is again. For a few elusive seconds, he savors the taste of serenity. But once more, the rose eludes his grasp. How'd you have the rose? I found it on the floor. Do you want it? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and that is how Moleface and Freddy Perfect met. Woo! Right, nothing compares. Yes. I know I'm wearing a mesh top, but God, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Wow. How many times was it? It's also like seeing a swimming so I'm kind of like feeling swinging.
As time unfolds, the duo immerse themselves in the realm of social media, gaining recognition on TikTok for their captivating dance videos set to the tunes of the 1975. The allure of fame appears within reach. Yeah, a little bit of TikTok club and you think you're over. Amongst the crescendo, things are getting a little rocky. So you should keep your business to yourself, mate. I think you should fucking shut your mouth. Well, just because we're not getting any views. What? What? I'm, 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 getting, I'm, I'm getting loads. I'm getting loads of views. I get more views. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm so, oh, I'm all that. Oh. Stop, stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop. Please.
In the aftermath, Freddie Perfect is adrift in the familiar sea of defeat, questioning if this moment marks the demise of his newfound passion. The weight of uncertainty hangs heavy as he once again contemplates the future of what brings him purpose. Meanwhile, Moleface, surrounded by the echoes of his past loneliness, is confronted by the solitude he thought he left behind. Their separate benches become islands of reflection, where unspoken emotions surface.
the plane went really so bad. So, so fucking, fucking bad. bad. And so, the duo gazed upon what could lie ahead of them and made a wish upon a star. I'm still by your side And I can see why I can't be I, I'm still by your side As the curtain falls on this tumultuous journey, the essence of true friendship emerges victorious. Moleface and Freddie Perfect discovered that the antidote to solitude and lack of meaning was not just in shared dreams, but in the symphony of camaraderie. True art is not just found in music, but also in the bonds forged through creativity resilience, and the magic of true connection. This has been the tale of London Core. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Sometimes you get everything you want in life and you don't even have to try. <laughs> That's a good lesson.